Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driver Range. Today I want to talk about the concept of what I call pure lift. Pure lift, especially in the backswing, and it actually applies in the forward swing too. When we're, when we're after we hit the ball and we're, we go in the forward catches mitt, the club's not going to go up unless you make it go up on both sides. And what makes it go up? Well, first and foremost, the whole world tells you you're not supposed to use your right hand. First off, you know, use your right hand, and in fact, hold both hands like a like uh, holding a baby bird, light grip. That is baloney. The grip has to be firm enough, squeezing at the fingers firm enough to control this golf club because this club has weight and I have to control it and I have to engage the wrist, the, the fingers through the wrist up into the forearms. I want it to be like if I was going to backhand hit somebody, I'm not doing it with, with a light handed, with a light palm pressure and fingers. You got, you're, you're forcing, you're, you're, everything here is firm, rock solid, all right? Because we want good wrist action is no wrist action, all right? So now, so now is when I start when I take the club from here, the first thing I'm doing is I'm starting my lift. I keep getting I get a lot of questions about this, and I run into it at at, at at schools and things, and private lessons, and every now and then somebody writes in a letter to customer service for me to answer a question, which is where I get a lot of my questions that I'm doing in these dailies. And they say I'm I'd like to push the club away. I feel pushing the club away is better. Pushing doesn't work because if you're pushing it. Pushing is very likely pushing downward. In fact, many of them are trying to push it downward to take the club away low. Like again, a lot of people were taught to take it away low and slow, right? Every year in January, February, whatever, in all the magazines, you're gonna see a little article that says, tee your ball up about 15 inches behind the ball, you know, just normal tee height, and you wanna clip the ball going back. Uh-uh, I want, you shouldn't, be, you shouldn't be even touching that ball, all right? But let's, let's engage this. Equal grip pressure in both, in both hands, from the fingers, into the palm, through the wrist, and into the forearms to just below the elbow. Equal with both, right? Two or more things are involved in the movement of an object, they must be equal, because if they're not equal, the one doing lesser than the greater is gonna put that system in drag, and drag in physics is a negative effect. It's like trying to go up a hill with, your foot on, with one foot on the brake, and one on the gas. It doesn't work, it's gonna be, the car's gonna be having a lot of resistance, okay? So, I want both hands lifting together, but once I start, the second I, the second I, I start moving my club, which I take, I think the triangle of the arms and hands and the torso of the body starts turning together with the feeling that the club moves first. For that minute, my right hand is already engaged lifting that club up. This is the main player in lifting, all right? And we squeeze with the bottom three fingers in both hands, because why? That engages the two, the two muscle groups on the lower part of the arm. You got an outer and inner lower group and, a, and an outer and inner upper group. Well, the lower group is the lifter muscles. Guess what? The lower group is also the puller muscles to pull down and then, and then re-engage and lift up on that side. These should not get involved. If you, 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 pinch your, you pinch these two fingers, you see what? The two upper groups work. You don't ever want those engaged in any part of the golf swing. So we squeeze firmly with the fingers up here. The second I'm, the second I, my triangle and square gets the club moving, which my hand's starting to lift it, that is lifting into the forward mitt, toe up. You can see how quickly that club comes up. No taking away low, because if you take it away low, you're overstretching your arms, it's pulling your torso down, and now all, all your body has to start tightening up, your legs and your hips and your, and your lower back to, to maintain balance. We just want a natural lift. There's no overextending. Just lift it up natural, just like as if you're going to throw a ball. So if you're going to skip a rock here, you'll be right there. Look where you're at. You're right there. You don't skip a rock by stretching. Just straight up to there. Once you're over the toe line, there's no more turn. From there, it's all lift. At this point in time, my right hand is, is, is really lifting, because it has to be working because if it isn't, it's going to be dead weight on the left hand. So they're both going together, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling quite a bit of work in these fingers and this right hand to keep lifting that club all the way up. And then once I get up there and make my bump and come down, I get that little bit of free fall. But guess what happened now? The left hand is, this one is starting to pull down like crazy, but the right hand, right about here, when the right hand, when the both hands release the impact, then from that point on, the right hand is back in the, back in the job of doing what? It's now becoming on top again, and it has to it has to be lifting, or this hand will never go up fast enough. So it's a it's a good combination of of of, of these two these two working together, but always working and trying to work together. But one will always the right will always engage lifting right about there in the backswing, and it'll engage lifting right about there because once once the bottom hand gets on top, it better be it better be pulling its job up, and it, on both sides, 
or you won't be going up fast enough in the backswing, and then you won't be going fast enough in the forward swing to maintain good, good speed and momentum, which will keep the acceleration more constant and, and keep accelerating. Okay, so let's use the hands properly. Use, grip it correctly, use it properly, and get that pure lift. Pull up and pull up. Downswing is free, but you still got them, you still have them both accelerating and going through. Okay? But we gotta really know how to use the bottom hand, right hand for lefties, for righties, excuse me, right hand for righties, left hand for lefties. Use that bottom hand to help the lift. Because when it's on top, you don't want it to be dead weight. You want it to be an active player, really helping out and engaging itself so that you can get that pure lift and faster club head speed, because that's how you hit the ball longer, more solid and straight, and shoot those lower scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.